Hi everyone, Ian Hamilton here. I'm here with Jerry Ellsworth at Till Five's offices in California. And she's giving me a demo here that I really wanted to show everyone because it's effectively an AR teardown. We've got physical glasses right here. You've even give, you've given me a physical version of a core projector that yeah. sends out light onto the board that gets reflected directly back into the eyes and provides the unique AR experience for Till Five. But what we've got here is one computer, a mid-range laptop, hooked up to two pairs of glasses, two of these controllers for input, and then you've got a 3D model floating on this space here. I was at GDC, mm -hmm. and I walked around all of GDC looking for mixed reality, hand tracking, multiplayer, VR experiences. There were some really, really cool examples of those across the board almost, but there were some consistent problems. With VR multiplayer experiences, you're talking between five minutes and a half hour of setup for a multiplayer VR experience. You could spend all that time setting up your experience and be out of time to enjoy VR. And then with your devices like Magic Leap 2, you're talking five to $10,000 of equipment in order to have several people all together in that experience with you. Looking at a little postage <laughs> stamp. <laughs> Looking at a little postage stamp on your field of view. And then there's what you've got here, which is how much equipment are we looking at here? Uh, so our base system that gets you one pair of glasses, one wand, and one extra large game board, 359, and then every wand and headset you add after that's just $300 more. And then a computer, a PC here. for multiple devices. So I'm gonna round it all off at under two grand for a multiplayer. AR experience. Easily do a nice three player experience for a couple thousand dollars. You know, you probably already have a computer, so then it's a lot cheaper than that. The fair, totally fair. Let's put these yeah. on and see why this is impressive. All right, so uh, can you show me, can you tear down this device and show me how it works? Okay, let me blow it up a little bit bigger here. All right, I'm gonna peel the shell off of the glasses here. I'll take the back cover off. We'll get rid of the circuit board. Let's get these arms out of the way, too. Okay. So now we can start going into things like a projection optical system. I'm pulling all these little pieces. Like, this is the little cover that covers up the optical system. So now we're looking inside the optical system, this little piece that you held up a second ago right here. And there's, you know, there's 14, 15 little lenses in there. And so we can start pulling those out one by one and look at them. So um, we were playing around with this earlier. I pulled out like this little lens here. And he asked me, what's this lens do? Well, um, off to the side over here is where we generate the red, green, and blue light for the display. So it gets collimated. It goes through a thing called a fly's eye homogenizer, this little thing. It's got little fly's eyes, little lenses on it. And then it goes through this little tiny lens here and through a polarizer and then into this beam splitter that takes the light like this up to a little micro display. So this is like a little liquid crystal display. And the liquid crystal display generates the image and then it hits back down through to all of these little lens elements. There's like six of them in here. And this generates a field of view, the light that's going out. And then finally, it strikes, dig down deep enough, this little reflector. And this reflector is actually quite special. It's got seven layers of polarization controlling films and things that um, Keep the efficiency really high as the light goes out to the beam board, past my fingers, retroflex off the special beam board, and then comes back to just me. And then your light goes to just you. So what gets me here is like there's there's really impressive like we can point to the same elements. So like all those little lens elements you took out, they're right here. Yeah. And there. Yeah. And that that sync up is not easy to do on no. other hardware. Yeah, we have some millimeter astrocy right out of the box. You just plug it in and every user could be locked around spatially with each other. And then we can get in here just down to you in the, this little tiny screw. 
put it out in front of you. It's out of here now. Let me side over it. Let <laughs> it fly off. Yeah. So this is my favorite part of this little app. We put this together really quickly because everyone's like, we need a CAD viewer so you can import your own CAD models into it, but you can also just put it right back together after you tear it apart. Anyway, we're gonna put this on our lab so that people can use it and load their own models. It supports most standard standard models. It's just fun to rip stuff apart. But yeah, like, you can. that is the thing. Most business use cases are probably just this, right? Like yeah. you wanna examine in detail a 3D model before you actually build it, uh -huh. right? And that's gonna save you money if you're able to identify something in that review process. It's really hard to manipulate things on a flat screen. You have to use a mouse to gimbal things around and it's it's really tedious and you just pluck something out like this lens and be able to, you know, like, okay, here's the lens it's set in pieces and, you know, and having this really intuitive you know, interface is, is really special. You're going to show me Figment XR, so this runs in VR too, but this is the TIL5 version. And he put all TIL fresh inside of here. Yeah, yeah. So we can have AR TIL fresh here right above your board. Then you have all the brushes that are in TIL brush. So a lot of fun stuff. Quite a few artists that have been streaming the Thigman arts on Twitch. It's really fun. And then there was a group that did an art installation in LA. So that was pretty cool. You gotta do the poop. The poop one, but you gotta get the color right. Browns over here. Well, I've gotta do this. I mean, I've gotta just have a nice little poop oh. emoji. Ooh. Ooh. All right. The power of AR. That's right, right there. Maybe we should get some of this out of the way. And this is where you can import models from Sketchfab. You can, you can even apply physics to them, drop things onto our little spaceman there. Oops. Then grief you, pull the trigger, grab it, and then push it down. There you go, now you've been. It's natural. Mm -hmm. 